One take, no edits. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. That's it. It's actually crooked. Let me fix oh. that. <laughs> My bad. Okay. The table looks weird. Yeah, it's a, it's the angle, but the camera's straight. Okay, yeah. so okay. I'm going to be guessing. Well, this. let's just start at the beginning. <laughs> this is Plumber Page. Hi. I am on the East Coast right now, and I figured I'd stop by because um, we've been Instagram friends for a long time, so make sure to check her out. So she is a plumber by trade. And today I'm going to be guessing her plumbing tools. We just made a video mm -hmm. of her guessing my electrical tools on her channel. So if you want to check that out, make sure to go over to her channel at Plumber Page on the recommended channels on my page. <laughs> Thank so, you. Um, I should do that for you. I'm so sorry I haven't. It's fine. I'm a bad friend. So today <laughs> I'm going to be guessing her plumbing tools. She has about 12 tools over here, 12 plumbing items. I'm going to be guessing and seeing how well that I do. And the number to be is six. Don't tell them. <laughs> Go watch my video. <laughs> All right, we're starting with ones that I feel like you're gonna know since I basically guessed them on yours. So this is the first one. So these would be channel locks or water pump pliers or pump pliers. Slip um, joint pliers is another name, but channel locks, is, I'll take it. <laughs> is that one point? <laughs> yeah, you okay. got it. So okay. the channel locks, they're adjustable. So these are yeah, adjustable channel locks many different names for many different tools so there's the first one right there honestly that's probably my most used tool so that makes sense <laughs> next this would be your adjustable wrench um i'm sure there's a different name for it Tell i've me. heard it also called crescent wrench yeah but crescent wrench adjustable wrench is what i call it yeah i was from I harbor would've, i would have said <laughs> i would have said crescent wrench yeah so those are pretty simple um we'll go with these next this would be a pipe cutter. Mm -hmm. um, I have a smaller one, but I don't know if it's the same for plumbing or not, if it's just a uh, pipe cutter or if it's like um, like an in-place cutter. So like normally you cut stuff on the ground for us and like we have some of these um, in case we have wire inside of it that mm -hmm. we have to cut it and then separate it and leave the wire in without being damaged, so. yeah. Oh, we use those for copper mostly. It's a cutter. We can do it on the floor. There's smaller ones for like in tight spaces and stuff. Yeah. And this one also has a reamer on the end. I don't know. That's a reamer. Yeah. <laughs> Makeup. Makeup. <laughs> yes. So yeah, reamer for the inside and maybe the outside if you're feeling lucky. <laughs> I've never um, thought that. But yeah. So yeah. Cutter and reamer. Dude, you're slaying. You have three out of three so far. I'm giving you the easy ones, okay? I would say this is a PVC cutter, pipe cutter. Yeah, and they're kind of broken. So you, but... Yeah, you kind of cha-ching right here. <laughs> yeah, and then it should like and then ratchet. then it cl close all the way and then it's you a... open it back up to reset it. It's so. a ratcheting PVC cutter. I don't know how you're doing so good at this. What the heck? <laughs> I don't... Okay, so I have not only tools, but like other things. Okay. So that's taped off so you can't cheat. Should I get to smell it? Sure. <laughs> Actually, in lab, a lot of my friends used to lick it. I do not recommend, but... I mean, it's some kind of... They would say, oh, it tastes like cotton candy, because it's blue. It's, it does not It's some like kind of, like, sealant or mm -hmm. something to, like, a lubricant to cut pipe or, like... It's a sealant. It's pipe thread sealant, so you put it on the threads. Usually a gas pipe, but sometimes when you're pipe fitting, like, you'll use it. You put it on the thread so that it slides in easier. It doesn't seal it, but it is a lubricant as it's going in and it, yeah. Did I get it right? I guess, because you called it a sealant. Maybe half I a point. I wasn't done guessing. I was like, <laughs> I'm trying to exhaust all my options here before, <laughs> before I get something wrong. Okay, this is the same brand. So this is Blue Monster. There's a monster I on it. I forgot the hand. <laughs> Blue Monster. So then this is also Blue Monster. So I would say, yeah, this, I've seen this stuff. This is like for your threaded, like rigid and you put it around the ends to seal it or mm -hmm. whatever. So it doesn't like leak or whatever. Yeah. Um, Do you know so what it's called? Plumber tape or something like that? I mean, yeah, a or lot of people call it that. I'm it's not, Teflon tape. Yeah, I'm not sure the but, technical term because I'm not a plumber. Okay, but, but you know what it's used yeah. for. Like you literally explained it so well. Okay. <laughs> What the heck? You're not even. Okay. I need you six to get for six, one just wrong. One more, need, one more right. One more right. I need you to get one wrong. Okay, we'll give you this one. Do you know what this is? Uh, I do not know what this is actually. I think I got. I think I got 
one wrong for you. At least one. Yeah, I would say- Don't cheat. Which, how am I cheating? I don't know, you're like reading as- I'm just it. like exhausting some <laughs> options here to try to get some clues. I, I, my guess would be it would be like a little tiny like cutter or something, but- Cutter? Um, yeah, I have literally no idea. I'm not gonna say it until you like totally- I'm done. Okay. So this is a wrench. I don't know what the technical name for it is actually, but you put it on an aerator of a sink, you know, like where the water comes out. Okay. And it takes it off so that you can okay. clean it. Okay. Because like, they're like meshy and they get really dirty and like hard water gets caught up on them. So this is the wrench to take off the aerator of okay. the sink. Okay, I would never guess that. Yeah, you got one wrong, so. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Uh, no, I would guess it just, a reamer for the inside of pipes for like three eighths half inch and then this is for cleaning the outside yeah i would give it to you but you called it a reamer so i'm not giving it to you it's a cleaner a deeper, okay okay yeah that's fine yeah so it's a wire brush okay yeah but you got the sizes right like for inside so these are for the fittings the inside of the fittings and these are the outside of the pipe because yeah. you need to ream clean flux solder when you're soldering so this is the clean part Okay. Yes, fire um, brush. Do I get half a point? No, you have You just want me to lose. Okay, yeah, fine, I do. fine. Okay. <laughs> Very cutthroat over here. <laughs> Next. Don't read it. Okay, so I would guess this is I know it's like You can play with it. I know it's like putty, so Okay. I would you're guess get like it. <laughs> I would guess like plumber's putty. Yeah. Um for like Do you know what it's for? I would guess I'm guessing it's different than the, the sealant and the tape. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you just put it like around like a leaky pipe or something to like keep the sealant. Yeah, to keep the water inside. I mean, if you're a bad plumber, maybe. <laughs> I mean, me, yeah. me and my friend did some home repairs at his house four years ago, and we use we use some of this and some tapes. Like Are you some, serious? Some, some scotch tape, and I'm not sure how long it lasted for, but it's not there. I Don't checked, do I that. checked it. <laughs> I just checked it like a few days ago, and it wasn't there. Okay. Well. Okay. I'll give you half a point. Okay. It is plumber's putty. So technically I won already. It's not about that. It's about your knowledge. <laughs> so I'm so competitive, guys. It's not even... Okay. It's plumber's putty. You put it around, like, the drain of your sink. Okay, yeah. It, yeah. like, threads into the bottom part, and yeah. that, like, seals it between the pop-up piece and the sink bowl. Yeah. Like, it seals that kind of stuff. And yeah. when you're putting, like, the shower drain onto the floor, like, yeah. it seals the connections of that. Yeah. It goes in between and it smushes, and then if you take it off, you have to reapply new putty. That makes sense. I'll give you half a point for that. Okay, you, you're winning, whatever. <sighs> Which one would you most likely know? Maybe this? Yeah, I know what that is. You know what this is. There's a caulking yeah. gun for sealant or... Mm -hmm. um, different types of stuff like we use it for like fire caulk or yeah. sealant or putty or not really putty but yeah yeah this is my sister's but we use it a lot as plumbers she yeah. got it at the national skills usa competition she yeah. slays yeah not sponsored, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> but yeah you got that right so what so what are you at seven and a half seven and a half whatever did i really miss that many I mean, I got that one right, right? I just missed those ones. So. I don't even know anymore. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Yeah. Seven and a half, two wrong, two to go. Okay. This one. This is the one that I know nothing about, so. This, I used to say, is my favorite tool because it really makes your job a lot easier. When I was learning it, at least. I do not know. I mean, it clamps something. You turn it here. You can, like, chuck it. Like that, or you can like. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, so this is called a basin wrench. Um, during our hand tools lesson, this made my life so much easier. Is that for like tightening like plastic pipes under the sink or something? Yeah, under the sink. With like the rigid. Yeah, stuff? because it's so hard when you're working. Like, there's usually the wall, and then the sinks here, and you're like tied up against the bowl and stuff. So it's like really difficult to work. You gotta lift you go you push this around the nut and then you can loosen it or tighten it even Perfect. under the sink it makes life so much easier that makes sense dude i explained like half of it and you're like yeah it makes sense yeah i know what <laughs> you know what this is yeah this is like a small version yeah you, you know what this is yeah i would guess i know what this is it's just like uh for loosening or 
mostly loosening stuff like or tightening stuff but like you wrap it around a pipe or something and then yeah. you like thread it in and then you I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about it <laughs> this is my first time touching this okay so you put it with a pipe or something and then you fold it over on itself and then or something like that you fold it over on itself to get tension and then you okay. spin it yeah it's called a strap wrench and you put it in this way because there's like these ridges to grab onto it <laughs> i was going the wrong way but you get the idea yeah but first you, timer you over got here. it <laughs> and then you like yeah yeah that's that's what i was going for and it's actually very nice to grab onto like pvc because you don't want to mess that up with like pipe wrenches or something i should have done that as a tool but yeah you get the point it loosens things yeah you did a really good job like nine and a half we'll give you half points i didn't get those two. we'll give you half points for these full points for those no points for these two so 10 i guess i guess yeah 10 points listen it is what he's it just is. better than me just more knowledgeable because i'm older <laughs> and i've been in the trades for he's longer. he's old can you believe that i don't want to talk about it okay i just turned 21 i just had and a birthday and i don't want to talk about it okay how old are you that's thanks for watching guys <laughs> thanks for watching follow me subscribe to his channel give this video a thumbs up that's my line no oh, I'm sorry. i never really say that okay guys thanks for watching i appreciate it hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day hopefully you enjoyed like i said check out her channel plumber page for the video of her guessing my electrical tools. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. See you in the next one. Peace.